Minor note to my last video where I engineered a complete off-grid system, looked at every parameter. Here's one I didn't look at because I just assumed it. Here's the three-phase uh, model, which can go right up to 800 volts. Uh, in Australia, residential limit is 600 volts. Either way, I can still get to maximum PV array size, nonetheless, thanks to a three-string input. However, what I didn't look at was the 500 volt limit on the six kilowatt model, which is kind of low. I've got to admit, I'm quite surprised. That's why I missed it, because I've never seen that before. <laughs> seen 580 volts at lowest, but nonetheless, you can still get to the maximum array size of nine kilowatts quite easily. I'm gonna just always on top that one. So done some maths here. We're looking at maximum of 11 panels. Let's do that. I think it was 39.53 or something open circuit voltage of the panel that we looked at, the HIMO 6 by Longy 440. Now uh, we multiply this figure here just because of a temperature coefficient, that's a climatic thing. And then I'll multiply that by about 11 panels. That's under the 500 volts, that's the most you'll get. So let's say you had 11, two strings of 11 into the two trackers. So we're looking at uh, 22 panels multiplied by 440 watts. You go, you're going to make it easily to the maximum array capacity if need be, if you want to go all the way. Just thought I'd add that in relation to my last video that I posted yesterday.